Tom Hand here with Americana Corner. Today we're discussing the terrible toll at the Battle of Oriskany. The Battle of Oriskany on August 6th, 1777 ended unexpectedly when shortly after 3 p.m. the Mohawk and Seneca warriors inexplicably began running back to their camp outside Fort Stanwix. The reason for the sudden retreat was that their campsite was being ransacked. While the Indians and Loyalists were ambushing General Nicholas Herkimer and his Tryon County militiamen at Oriskany, Lieutenant Colonel Marinus Willett and 250 Continentals from the fort were destroying the unprotected British camp. When word reached the Indians, they immediately left to protect their belongings. They were also tired of fighting a foe that refused to give in. As the Indians returned to their camp, Willett's men retreated back into the fort, but they had saved Herkimer's militiamen from certain annihilation. As it was, roughly two-thirds of the entire Tryon County force were casualties. In an indication of the ferocity of the attackers and an absence of the mercy shown during the fight, 385 of the 700 Tryon County militiamen or an astonishing 55% had been killed, an unparalleled percentage for an American force during our revolution. For perspective, at Camden, one of the Continental Army's greatest disasters, only 6% of the Americans engaged in the fight died, while at Bunker Hill, less than 5% were killed. The remnants of the Tryon County Militia started for home carrying their wounded, including General Herkimer. Ten days later, following a botched amputation of his left leg, General Nicholas Herkimer died, and America lost a great patriot. Next week, we will discuss how General Benedict Arnold raised the siege of Fort Stanwix. Until next time, may your love of country lead you.